Hello everyone and welcome to Learn Tech. Is your home full of old DVDs that you no longer watch? Want to break them up to convert them to digital formats? DVD Fab is the only one solution for DVD copying, ripping and conversation. Whether you need a lossless backup of your DVDs as an ISO or DVD folder or you want to convert them into portable video formats, DVD Fab has you covered. In this video, we'll focus on how to use DVD Fab DVD Copy to easily make a one to one backup of your DVDs. Let's dive into the backup process and see how it works. It's just easy to download. You just click on free download. If you go over the links that I have on the description below, basically, you're gonna have an all in one solution, which is the DVD Fab, which I have it in my computer right now, and I'm gonna walk you through it. So, basically, on the left, you will see the functions, which are copy, ripper, creator, converter, etc. But I'm just gonna focus, like I said, at the function copy in this video. So if you have already plugged in a DVD on your computer, it will show directly here and ready to be working with it. So copy and burn DVDs, 4K, Ultra HD, Blu-rays, this to blend disk, ISO files or folders with flexible backup modes. All right, so here's the DVD that I want to have a backup of it to create an ISO file for that on my computer. You have to click on main movie and over here you have different modes which you can use for this function. The first one is full disk. So basically, as you, the word says, copy all the content of the disk to the ISO source or folder. The other one is the main movie. So basically, you just only copy the main movie title of the disk to the location where you want. Then the next one is to do a customization. So you choose by yourself what do you want to export to the backup file. And the other one is split, merge and clone and burn. So this will be cloning DVD to 101 with nothing lost. So you just copy that or you clone that, let's say so. Good. I'm going to choose the main movie. So basically, I'm just going to take the main movie from this DVD and back that up to my computer. So then the next thing that you can do is that you can just choose other titles. If you want, you can click over here, choose other titles and you choose from these different titles that are here that you want those titles also to be on your output file. In my case, I'm not just going to change that. And the next is about the subtitles. So by just clicking over this narrow here, you can see the subtitles that you want to be backed up also on your computer. So I'm not changing that neither. So then the next other setting or the customization that you can do with a DVD Reaper copy, you can change the output format. Let's say you can use the DVD 9 or DVD 5, depending which one you want. You have also another option here, which is advanced settings. By clicking over here, you'll see more settings which are related, let's say in this case, with the volume label, with the copying. So let's say copy DVD video, and then the other one, copy non-DVD files, all right? So probably then I'm not interested to do that. So removing, remove DTS or remove menus, whatever. So basically you have just some more advanced settings that you can play around with it, but I'm not interested in this case. I'm just gonna leave the default ones. I just press over okay. Then there is also a preview option. So you can click on this preview option and you can have a look of the video that will be output it or saved on your computer and then you say okay i like it or i don't like it good so it's starting all right so you can see that and then you decide if you like it or not the video and then once you are done with all these settings over here then you can just have to go over save to and then here you have to define where you want to save it so it's going to be an ISO file, so save it as ISO file and then save as movie folder. You can also define where you want to save it. So here it is, the ISO. You just have to define if you want that an ISO, then you click over save and then you have this as an ISO. You see also the link here changed to the ISO file. If you want this to be as a movie or as a movie folder with all the files, then you just click over the folder where you want to have it and then it's going to be as a movie. I'm just going to choose the ISO version in this case and then I'm just going to click over save and then basically this is going to be the ISO version of my DVD and then once I'm done with all these settings, basically you just click start. All right, so here we are. The processing of the file has started and it's creating the ISO format of this DVD file. It will take some time 
but basically you'll just have at the end the ISO format of the DVD, which is a great way to back up the DVDs. Good, so this is the first function of DVD Fab that you can use. And then the next function, it's gonna be the Reaper option. Again, over here, you can do a lot of other great things, but the main idea is to convert the DVD to digital formats like MP4, MKV, MP3, and more. And this can be played at any device. It's a mobile, TV, or whatsoever. We'll talk about that in the next videos, but that's basically what I wanted to show you in this video. I just wanted to introduce you with this tool, and I hope you like it. And any question that you have about this tool, just please write on the comment below, and we'll try to help you to solve any problems. Thanks for watching and please consider subscribing to our channel. All the best. Thank you.